Okay, so let's take a tour of all this new data that we've connected, co collected for the Crowd Data Center, uh, which is part of the Crowdfunding Center, and that we've analyzed in uh, the State of the Nation, State of the Crowdfunding Nation report. So we've tracked uh, and generated data on um, over 75,000 uh, crowdfunds in 2014 although in fact at the time of recording it's well over the 80,000 mark and climbing this is giving us some new insights that we didn't have before some things that we couldn't have guessed at in fact and I think it's fair to say has transformed our understanding of how crowdfunding is working both in the UK and worldwide as well as in the States Perhaps the most striking thing is the huge rate of growth, which we'll touch on in a moment or two, but also the fact that crowdfunding and um, in all its forms is working together and together with traditional funding mechanisms, mechanisms as well and creating an e-funding escalator, which we, we explore as part of the conclusions to the report. So let's start with some of the highlights and here are some of the infographics which uh, already start to give us um, uh, the, the, the key information that globally uh, crowdfunding and we're looking at rewards and equity crowdfunding are growing uh, faster than anyone probably thought already. Um, the rate of growth is startling. Um, uh, globally, uh, crowdfunding is growing and doubling, in fact, every 60 days, at a fairly consistent rate worldwide. And in some areas, it's growing even faster. So in the UK, the rate of growth um, uh, observed within the period was 350%. And we think this... Um, may well have something to do with uh, massive growth in the equity side as well that's boosting the overall growth so um, given that uh, you know Moore's law predicts uh, and describes the growth of computing power as doubling every uh, couple of years and that that then accelerated once every uh, to doubling every 18 months um, this is quite astonishing um, because this rate of growth is 10 times uh, that experience with Moore's Law and we all know the impact that that has had uh, on business, on um, society as a whole. So uh, quite a startling finding straight away. As we can see here, the amounts raised are, uh, are, are uh, climbing uh, very well as well. And there are consistent rises in the amount raised and the amount pledged month on month through the period. We are seeing some seasonal effects to some extent, but you can see there that um, uh, you know uh, the different growth rates for the UK, USA, and worldwide. It's difficult to say why we're seeing such a strong growth rate, nearly double. In fact, more than double uh, the global growth rate here in the UK. Uh, it may be something to do with the uh, the growth of equity. Uh, the, the big focus on that more recently may have the, there may be a year-end effect as well. Um, I, I guess we'll see more on that in the begin when we see the figures for the next quarter. And we can see here uh, the steady rise in the number of projects launched on a daily basis, rising from 220 in January through 312 to 442 in March. Um, uh, again, really strong growth. We think we're seeing only about 50% of global activity here. So uh, global activity could be... Um, uh, double this or, or maybe even a bit more uh, we're capturing from uh, 
many of the platforms but not all and as we noted earlier these are astonishing growth rates that um, uh, compare favorably with just about anything uh, and the comparisons with Moore's law are interesting to say the very least so here we see um, a month-on-month -month growth rate uh, averaging 43 percent uh, and obviously that's compounded um, uh, so we see you know what's happening and um, here we see that the global amount raised averaged over the quarter at uh, a little over fifty-seven thousand dollars per hour, uh, rising uh, in March it was it was well over the, the sixty thousand dollars per hour mark. And we can see here globally how that's made up. Obviously, uh, for obvious reasons, dominated by uh, the USA, uh, and uh, that's dwarfing to some extent. Uh, what's going on in the rest of the world which is is not not unexpected and of course um, this also leaves aside the fact that um, uh, a lot of the international activity in the UK and elsewhere is being done on, on American platforms of course so some key stats here so we can see um, that uh, worldwide uh, nearly 30,000 new projects uh, launched in the USA uh, uh, that was a, almost 20,000 of them 19,500 of them uh, and 2,000 in the UK uh, we can see uh, the doubling there uh, uh, worldwide 100% growth uh, and in the UK the 350% figure um, uh, and to some extent map but there are some um, uh, complications that which we explore in the port in the report in terms of matching up pledges with with projects and so on but you can see clearly the patterns emerging there um, some further figures on fully funded projects so we saw uh, seven and a half thousand there um, worldwide uh, five and a half thousand of those very nearly were in the USA uh, and so on and again you can see the growth figures pretty clearly there too so uh, let's have a look at the different categories uh, the highest performing categories in terms of pledges as we see there were gaming film design technology and music um, and um, uh, if we then look at the amounts raised they're different but you know um, the same five suspects uh, shuffle, shuffle around on the table a bit there so we've got uh, that led by technology uh, raising the most uh, followed by film design gaming and music you can dig into these figures for yourself you can look at the Canadian figures or, or figures for other territories as well uh, the, the um, analytic tools are there ready to go for you uh, please do uh, go and grab um, an account and dig in because uh, we want we want you to do that. And we want your feedback. Um, before we finish, let me just give you some you know some some quick overview figures on what's there to look at. As I mentioned earlier, we've tracked now over eighty thousand projects so far. Um, uh, we've uh, live tracked. 10 platforms the, the biggest ones the most activity um, there have been uh, there are around 17,000 live projects at any one time and that's fluctuated we've seen that's as high as 22,000 at one point um, and there's 37 different classifications so you can kind of look at the different um, trends in different categories and see how they perform on different platforms um, there's on average around 500 new projects every day um, growing growing rapidly uh, and we also aggregate and uh, share news articles so you can see around about 600 new news, news articles appearing there uh, every month uh, the report is available uh, for download online 
if you go to the crowdfundingcenter.com slash report you'll see the URL on the screen there um, you can download the full report or the headline report plus the infographics uh, you'll be able to get um, a, a greater insight and, and read the full conclusions um, and the analysis there but would urge you also to uh, uh, to get to grips with creating the tools that are easy to do that so please do make your way over to the crowd data center uh, we've tried to make it as easy as possible for you to reach into that data and to grab hold of uh, the key insights that you need There's some real pearls um, uh, and some real jewels here the insights that you need for your organization uh, for your country for your territory uh, and and to move to move forwards in fact to move us all forwards um, so we hope you'll do that uh, we hope you'll get great value from that from that for yourself and your organization opening this new territory but we hope you'll share some of what you find with us to tell us what you need See you there.